The ongoing chip shortage appears to be the most significant barrier to the mass production of the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla's co-founder and CEO Elon Musk acknowledged the scarcity of chips during the quarter 2 2021 earnings conference call, saying the company is figuring out how to address the issue. Musk and the company recently shared a prototype showcasing the latest updates and the release date. Today's video shows you the latest prototype of a Cybertruck and why it's getting delayed, what changes one can expect and more. Make sure to watch till the end and subscribe for more. Here we begin. Let's start with acknowledging the changes expected on the Cybertruck production model. In January 2022, new photos and a video of a different-looking Cybertruck surfaced online, revealing a few distinct design details in the exterior. To comply with pedestrian safety regulations, Tesla appears to have redesigned the nose section and bumper. As a result, the new face has a slight curvature. Musk revealed in a June 2022 interview with Tesla owner Silicon Valley in the kilowatts that Tesla has finally locked the Cybertruck's design. First is the size. The version of the incredible Tesla Cybertruck is enormous and simply too large for many markets, so Tesla is working to make it smaller and more practical for real-world driving situations. The new Cybertruck's cargo bed has an additional cutout closer to the cab, which could be an opening to service the components. While there's no indication of a mid-gate, it's possible that this configuration is built without that feature and that others are available with it. Unlike the concept version, it'll likely have a small latch on the tailgate to open it. Finally, the button layout on the sidewall appears to be slightly different. Instead of the original Cybertruck's covered wheels, the new Cybertruck displayed at the Tesla Cyber Rodeo featured conventionally designed with multi-spoke alloy wheels. In addition, the new wheels appear to be smaller as well. When the Cybertruck is released, it may include removable wheel covers. In addition, the charging port opening is likely on the rear left fender flare rather than behind it. The removal of flush door handles is another significant change in the Tesla truck's profile as it evolves into a production vehicle. Tesla has most likely integrated a touch-operated door open-close button on the small rectangular section in the B pillars and C pillars. Sensors should detect the user approaching the vehicle with a key and automatically unlock the doors. The conventional mirrors, unlike the prototype, the production model has a conventional mirror that are easy to remove. According to Musk, as well as digital mirrors enabled by side cameras integrated into the front fender flares for when regulations allow replacing conventional side mirrors. As a result, Tesla's production truck will likely have slightly narrower front fenders, but will have to wait for a better look before drawing any conclusions. Tesla has used a massive windshield wiper with a slight angle that rests near the left A pillar. On Twitter, Musk stated that this is not the production design. In another Twitter post, he revealed that getting the wiper done correctly has become difficult. Musk added that the deployable wiper stowed in the trunk would be a complex solution. Changes are expected in marker lights. Separate marker lights are expected to be seen in the lower front fascia of the Cybertruck concept are neatly integrated towards the outer ends of the bumper. It also has two horizontal LED light bars that serve as fog lamps near the bottom of the bumper. According to recent production footage, the front fog lamps are set higher, at the same height as the concept version's marker lights, albeit slightly more inwards. The production Cybertruck, unlike a regular pickup, will not be available in various paint colors. Customers may need to wrap the exposed stainless steel before painting it, and Tesla may not provide wrap and painting services. This reduces production costs and complexity while also benefiting the environment. The production Cybertruck has a digital instrument cluster, which the concept version did not have. Furthermore, the customer delivery units may include two additional screens on the dashboard's outer edges to stream the live feed from the side cameras. Let's now move to the Tesla's Cybertruck design. The build quality. The Cybertruck requires numerous improvements and fixes before it can be launched, and these revisions will take some time. A proper amount of panel gaps, some damaged parts, misaligned panels and glued-on parts on the prototype indicated a lot of work ahead for the quality department. Single-piece castings. Tesla will utilize the Italian company Idra's Gigapress 9000T, a 9,000-ton Gigapress, to design the cast bodies of the Cybertruck. The organization may use single-piece front and rear castings in the Cybertruck, as it did in the Model Y. Giga castings can assist automakers in improving NVH levels, reducing weight, increasing driving range, and improving vehicle safety. In addition, they can improve the vehicle while making manufacturing simpler and more space-efficient. Musk stated that vehicle bodies with single-piece castings are lighter, cheaper, and provide superior NVH levels during Tesla's Quarter 1 2022 earnings conference on the 20th of July 2022. In addition, 
The company intends to make another improvement and simplify manufacturing with the Cybertruck and future products. On the large wiper and rear axle steering and prototypes, the headlights have been moved from the top to bottom of the front end. Furthermore, the company has used separate headlights instead of a full-width light strip. Another noticeable difference is the large wiper that rests against the driver's side, a pillar, and almost reaches the upper edge of the windshield glass. Rear axle steering is quickly becoming a standard feature in premium and luxury vehicles. While reversing, the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction as the front wheels to reduce the turning circle. However, they should turn in the same direction as the front wheels at high speeds to provide more stability. What about some new specifications? It includes performance. Tesla initially announced the Cybertruck in single motor RWD, dual motor AWD, and tri motor AWD configurations. One of the modifications will be the addition of a quad motor powertrain. Holmar's catalog announced on Twitter in December 2021 that a new quad motor variant will be added to the lineup. While the single motor variant is being considered for cancellation, the Tesla Cybertruck quad motor will have independent motors that provide ultra fast response and allow the torque that goes to each wheel to be controlled. As a result, it may be faster than Tesla's tri-motor Cybertruck, which claims to reach from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. The towing capacity could also be greater than the 14,000 plus pounds of the tri-motor variant. 800 volt system voltage Tesla is known for being quick to adopt new technologies, such as the structural battery pack and the unique Model Y, and the Cybertruck is expected to have an 800 volt electrical system rather than the standard 400 volts. An 800 volt system voltage would surely make sense in larger vehicles like the Cybertruck and Semi, where higher charging power to charge faster, higher power from the battery to the power electronics, or more torque is required according to Beglino. Furthermore, the higher system voltage allows for less cabling weight and insulation space. Cell Production Canasonic Corporation will produce the 4680 cells Tesla intends to use in its EVs. Developing 4680 cells required an enormous amount of stamina and giving the cells a whole new shape required considerable nerve. In fiscal year 2024, production of the batteries with 4680 cells will begin. Range and 4680 cell Tesla stated in 2019 that the Cybertruck will have a range of 250 plus miles, 300 plus miles, and 500 plus miles in single motor RWD, dual motor AWD, and tri motor AWD configurations. Although it has decided to change the specifications, we're confident that at least one of the variants will have a range of more than 500 miles. The cell, known as the 4680 due to its dimensions of 80 mm length and 46 mm diameter, can deliver 5 times energy, 6 times power, and 16% more range. 2023 Production Date Updates Musk updated the Cybertruck series production at the Tesla Cyber Rodeo event on April 7, 2022 at Giga, Texas. He stated that Tesla intends to produce 500,000 units per year at this plant, with only one model, the Model Y. It'll begin manufacturing the Cybertruck there in 2023. The organization displayed an improved version of the electric truck at the event. Musk stated during Tesla's quarter to earnings conference call on July 20th, 2022, that the company expects to begin Cybertruck production and deliveries in the middle of 2023. Let us know your views in the comments below and subscribe for more.